Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is, uh, I don't know, this is not really going to be a Bible study per se, but we were talking about the great falling away from the faith. So, I live right now in South Florida, Palm Beach County. Perhaps you've heard of Miami, Miami's Dade County. You go north of Miami, there's the next major city and uh, county is Broward County and Fort Lauderdale. Then you go to the next county north of that and you have West Palm Beach and Palm Beach County. Between these three counties, there's at least five million people living in this area. Now, there is a country well, part of an island, the island of Hispaniola. And uh, part of it is the Dominican Republic, which was Spanish. And then on the other side, the left side, is a country called Haiti. It was colonized by the French. And uh, they made the mistake of bringing African slaves there. Now, this was around the time of Napoleon, if you remember Napoleon in history. Uh, and just for the record, I am very much against slavery. And I wish that we would have never brought black African slaves anywhere near the New World. Just for the record. However, there was a guy... Uh, his name was, I think it's Toussaint L'Ouverture, I don't know, I don't speak French, but then again, neither do the Haitians. Um, I know people that speak French, I had a teacher in college, she was from Paris, Paris, and she was like, you, you know, she could not understand um, two out of three words that a Haitian would speak when they were talking their little Creole language. It was basically a bastardized French, I guess you could call it. But uh, yeah, maybe about every third or fourth word she could like understand one, but it was pronounced wrong and, you know, what can I tell you? But uh, to spell his name, it's T-O-U-S-S-A-I-N-T L apostrophe O-U-V-E-R-T-U-R-E. -E. He was the leader of a rebellion in what would be modern-day Haiti, and uh, he killed every white person on the island. Now, let me let you in a little secret. When you kill all your farmers, all your doctors, and all your engineers, well... Guess what happens? Well, they had famine for like two years. I mean, they, they're on the verge of starvation anyways, but um, it was only after they started resorting to cannibalism that they even remotely started to survive. Perhaps you've heard of zombies. Guess what? That comes from Haiti. Perhaps you've heard of voodoo. Guess where it came from? I give you three guesses and the first two don't count. You're right, Haiti. Uh, voodoo dolls, uh, you know. And it's tied in with, you know, zombies and all this other wonderful stuff. And what's really interesting, I find, is that the black Hebrews, so-called, they think that Haiti is the tribe of Levi. Now, if you have listened to me for a while, Levi was the tribe, the priest tribe. They were the serve the Lord. Whereas Judah was the tribe of the kings. There were ten other tribes besides these two. But Levi was uh, like Moses and um, 
they were the ones that did the um, service at the temple. They were the ones that burned incense and uh, animal sacrifices and what have you. And you're going to tell me voodoo worshipers are Levi. Okay. Well, maybe they're of the tribe of Levi of the Church of Satan. I don't know. I, I don't know. Now, when I first found out about this stuff, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, I asked my then living father about uh, this history of Haiti, and he says, oh, yeah. He says, we studied that in, I think in high school, he said, that uh, they knew that the um, blacks had killed every white person on the island. Well, <laughs> guess what? There is a high school in Palm Beach County where I live and it's an arts and social justice high school and it's named after this Haiti Haitian that killed all the whites yeah they're honoring this guy that killed all the whites then there's a school in Miami-Dade County by the same name honoring him there's a school in New Jersey honoring him. And then there's some kind of a, I think it's a program more than just a school, or may it be it's a branch. I'm not sure. But it's in Boston, Massachusetts. So you've got at least four schools. And I didn't go deep into it. I just, you know, kind of glanced around. And these pictures I'm doing the slideshow on, just some stuff I found about... Uh, voodoo and haiti and zombies and what have you and um, our wonderful friends and i'm saying that sarcastically in uh, hollywood started popularizing these uh zombie and voodoo type stuff back in the 30s perhaps you've heard of bella lugosi he played um dracula a lot back back in those days, back in the 30s. And uh, he did some kind of a zombie movie, and that was when they started, you know, popularizing all this stuff. Perhaps you've heard of Dawn of the Living Dead. You know, that was, I think that was in 1968. I was pretty young back then. Um, back then when the dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. But um, I never did like horror movies. I just never got into them. Just didn't like them. Now I, I guess I know why. But, um, you know, it just, it's in your face, people. The uh, four schools in this nation, two of them in South Florida, are honoring a guy that killed all the whites on the island where they practice, you know, voodoo and, you know, what can I tell you? We have a very large population of them here in South Florida, particularly in Miami and uh, in Palm Beach County, where I live. Matter of fact, the municipality that I retired from, they make it a point to hire them. They're given priority in hiring so, what can I tell you? I mean, God forbid you have people with an education uh, hire them, you know. I mean, what kind of... Uh, who came up with naming these places for this guy? I can't figure it out, you know. But if you wanted to name something after George Washington or, or you know martin luther uh it just wouldn't happen right you know you you couldn't name places after christians anymore i mean they you know that's that's racism you know those horrible white people i guess but um this is the kind of stuff that's going on in your face most people have no idea who this school is named after uh, just 
unbelievable. I'm sure the uh, the people that are behind the naming they understand perfectly who this guy was. Of course, they're enemies of the cross of Christ, and they hate Christians. And you know what better way to uh, celebrate and be hidden in plain sight? So. You know, I just thought I would mention this. You know, when people um, came to the Lord in the book of Acts, chapter 19. Uh, let's take a look at that. Well, people fell away from this satanic stuff that they were doing. Well, let's take a look. Verse 11, chapter 19 of the book of Acts, verse 11. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Now, there's a big group of people running around that will tell you that Paul is a false apostle. But, uh, you know, when they do that, they're saying that the book of Acts is wrong. I mean, can you imagine that? They're saying they know more than the people that put your Bible together. Listen to this. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Sounds like people that love voodoo would not be very happy with this. 13. Then certain of the vagabond uh, starts with a J and it rhymes with news. I got to be real careful with those certain keywords that uh, the tube is uh, banning videos with. Then certain of the vagabond, you know whose, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of one Shiva, a you know who, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man came in whom the evil spirit was, leaped on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of their that house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Unahus and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. I guess they're repenting of what the, their things that they did. Many of them also which used curious arts now we're talking about magic here many of them which use curious arts brought their books together and burned them burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed wow that's what happens when people get saved well guess what I don't think it's going to happen in Haiti, but, uh, oh, one more little tidbit. In the late 1950s, I was doing some research on leprosy. And, uh, you know, because, you know, I, I'm kind of a research kind of guy. Um, you know, read in the Bible about leprosy, and I'm like, what the heck is this disease? Well, it turns your skin white, your flesh rots off and uh, people your fingers and your toes just fall off your body with leprosy when it gets real bad right now I'm sure everybody knows this uh, corona thing going on you know everybody's in uh, martial law I mean quarantine um, but in the late 1950s there were less than two dozen 
cases of leprosy in the entire United States. And they were kept on a little island off the coast of Louisiana because they didn't want it to spread. They were in quarantine. Well, let's fast forward to the, I think it was the 90s. We had over 50-something cases of leprosy in just Miami alone. Just one county in Florida. Not the rest of the United States. Just, just one county in Florida alone. I think Florida's got like 50 counties. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up, but it's immaterial. And they were all Haitians. So, and, um, you know, so they uh, let them roam free here in the United States, spreading all kinds of disease. Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. To find a country poorer than Haiti, um, you would have to go to, well, like maybe India, I don't know. Of course, you've got some very, very wealthy people. The owner of Tata Motors, T-A-T-A -A Motors in India. I think he's a billionaire. Uh, from what I understand, India, the land of over a million gods, plural, um, they, uh, they have a couple thousand people every day die of starvation because India exports rice. I mean, making money is far more important than feeding the rabble, you know, to them. Anyways, um, Jesus said, love thy neighbor. And in India, they say, ah, let them starve. I'm going to make a buck. So, but uh, to find a poorer country than Haiti, you got to go to villages in India, if that's even possible. I don't know. I haven't been to either place, have no desire. Uh, from what I understand, Haiti has one major industry, and it's a rum. Uh, it's called Barbon Court. Um, so, yeah. Voodoo, zombies, witchcraft. Yeah, just the kind of people uh, that we bring over, well, we allow to bring over into our country. You see, they get on boats and they come to Florida and then they um, they really hardly ever send any of them back. And uh, their favorite killing weapon is the machete because it's like a sword and you can chop somebody's arm off with one stroke and even if they don't bleed if they don't die right away they'll bleed to death shortly and it's quiet doesn't make any noise like a gun right um, except for maybe the screaming of the person whose arm just got lopped off but uh, and they had a group called uh, the Tom Tom Makut uh, over there who was um, the secret police of uh, Duvalier or whatever, Duvalier or whatever his name was, the Haitian dictator over there. So, uh, this is what we're bringing over into our country, allowing to stay. What can I tell you? So, and uh, let me tell you something. When they look at you, you know they hate you. There's just, uh, I've only met one Haitian that didn't have murder in his eyes. Or her and uh, they consider American blacks as being stupid because American blacks haven't done to the whites in this country what the Haitians are proud of doing in their country matter of fact the uh, their uh, day of honor over in Haiti is the day that they celebrate the anniversary of the white last white person on uh, the island being killed so, but yeah, if a black Haitian goes over to the Spanish side, um, a lot of times they, they, uh, well, let's just say they don't get deported and they don't get to stay. Well, they might stay, but they're uh, fertilizer for the uh, plants, if you know what I'm getting at. The uh, Dominican Republic people don't like Haitians. Um, I've talked to them. They, they say, yeah, they're all... Uh, they're violent, they're murderers, they're thieves. We don't want them on our, on our side of the island. 
And if you ever get a chance to fly over Hispaniola, which is Haiti and Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic is a vacation spot. It's full of green trees. It's beautiful. You fly over Haiti, it's barren. They've stripped all the, the greenery and didn't replant anything. I mean, you know, this is what we're bringing into America. This is the new America. So, all righty, well, um, you know, this is the curse that's coming upon America. When God said to, you know, when Jesus said to love your neighbor, he wanted us to live amongst our own kind with, you know, believers. You know, he didn't want us to live next door to a bunch of Satanists. I mean, you know. Uh, so, this is the new America, people. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. All blessing, praise, glory, and honor to them and them alone, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.